Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Moore. Uh, time for section 4.2, capítulo 4, paso 2. Uh, not as much uh, vocab, but a whole lot that we can discuss with regard to the differences between ser and estar, two verbs that both mean to be. And so we're going to flesh out some of the differences between those two and briefly look at our notes and slides for this week, and uh, and we'll take it from there. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at our vocabulary. First one is uh, aplicado, which means studious. The literal translation is very applied, but it means uh, someone who is studious. El es aplicado. Conocer means to uh, to know or to be familiar with a person or place. Conocer a is to get to know someone. Creativo is creative. Distraído is distracted or absent-minded. Entusiasta, enthusiastic. Estricto, strict. Exigente is outgoing. Flojo is lazy. Sorry about the glitch in the system there. Flojo is lazy. Generoso, generous. Honesto, honest. Justo is just or fair. Respons uh, should be responsable. Sorry about that. Responsable is responsible. Torpe is clumsy. Some comparatives. Más que is more than. Mayor que is older than. Mejor que, my goodness, is better than. Mejor que. Menor que is younger than. Menos que is less than. And peor que is worse than. So those are a few of your vocab words for this week. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of our grammar for this week. As you can see, we have four slides of some newish information here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at these. There we go. Um, ser and estar. You ser to talk about qualities that define or characterize people and things, personality, national size, color, etc. So ser is to talk about intrinsic characteristics. Example, Juan Luis es un cantante. Juan Luis is a singer. Ella es alta y delgada. She is tall and slender. Now you will use estar to say where something is located or describe feelings or emotions, conditions, things like that. So, for example, Juan está en su cuarto. Juan is in his room. That's a location. Or estoy muy cansado. I am very tired. So, obviously, ser is for more um, permanent um, characteristics, whereas estar tends to be for more temporal things, things that could either pass that are either more changeable or um, or just locations. Um, just a comparison of their of what they look like in terms of their conjugations. This should be review for most of us. So, soy I am eres you are s he or she is or you formal are somos we are sois you all informal are. Son can mean either they are or you all formal are. Estar means all the same things. Estoy, estás, está, estamos, estáis, están. We'll just use them in different situations. And we'll practice and look at some of those differences in class a little bit further. Um, conocer. Um, we have another verb that means uh, to know also, which is, um, which is saber. But this is a little bit different here. Conocer means to know someone or be familiar with a with a place or somewhere. The yo form is irregular in the present tense. Like it's conozco instead of conoco. You can see that right in here, it has that Z spelling change. Otherwise, conocer is a regular ER verb. Uh, if it's followed, uh, it's followed by an A when you're talking about knowing people. So if you wanna say, um, we know, oh, I'll move this up here, sorry. There we go. For example, we know Mercedes, but we don't know, um, you know, like where her house is. So, conocemos a Mercedes, pero no conocemos, conocemos su casa. So, we're familiar with Mercedes, but we're not familiar with her home. Notice that we use a personal a ah in this case because we were talking about knowing her. But in this case, we we're just talking about knowing her house, not a person. So, there's no a ah necessary. And I apologize. I just realized that you couldn't see the very bottom of conocer, which is conocen. So, conozco, I know or I'm familiar with. Conoces, you know or you are familiar with. Conoce, he or she knows. Conocemos, we know. Conoces, you all know. And conocen, they know. As generalizations. Okay.
this is all over the place. Here we go. So uh, making a few comparisons using our comparatives, um, we would use mas plus an adjective or an adverb plus a noun plus k. Menos plus an adjective or an adverb plus a noun plus k. Here are some examples of using those within sentences. Um, and I'll move this up a little bit for you so you can see it better. Um, Michael es más famoso que Roberto. So mas plus an adjective plus k plus your noun. Roberto es menos famoso que Michael. Okay, so menos uh, adjective plus k plus your noun. In this case, the nouns happen to be people because we're looking at uh, people as, as our comparatives here. Another example, el corre más rápido que ella. He runs more quickly than she. So mas plus adjective plus k plus noun. Ella corre menos rápida que ella. She runs um, less fast than her. So in this case, uh, menos plus adjective plus k plus your noun again. So just a couple more examples. We're going to have a lot of these types of practices in class too. And that is the end of that. So you're probably thinking at this point, well, gosh, I watched it. It was relatively short, only about six or seven minutes. But sometimes we do extra credit. Sometimes we don't. So let's go ahead and throw that out for you if you're interested right now. What I would like you do, to do very simply is uh, write down on a note card um, 10 sentences that use comparatives, comparing things. Um, I would like you can be a little bit creative and move outside of our vocabulary to use comparatives like better than, worse than older than, younger than, um, uh, bigger than, smaller than, that kind of stuff. You can use those from our vocabulary. Um, but if you want to use uh, nouns and things that we haven't worked on yet, that's okay. Just make sure that they're right, okay? And be prepared to read them to me. I want to hear you pronounce all 10 of your sentences and obviously have them written out correctly too, and I'll be collecting those note cards. So that's your extra credit, 10 sentences using comparatives from your vocab sheet. Um, and be prepared to pronounce them for me too. Worth five points of extra credit, and that would be all. I hope that you guys are uh, doing very well with everything. Again, if this is creating more questions than answers, let me know what they are. Come prepared uh, to ask me a question, and I'll handle it as best we can during class. Chao, hasta luego, y adios. We'll see you guys later.